guys, T-Mart here, and uh, I'm here with Coop. We are back again to bring you guys another monthly Bapra Loot Crate unboxing, baby. Yes, that's right. Are you excited, Coop? You look like you're pretty excited. Uh, I, uh, I was setting up out here, I had like the camera set up and stuff, and then I had to walk in the other room, went to the bathroom, I came back out, and he was just like sleeping, so I wanted to mess with him. He hates when you blow in the back of his ears. But anyway, so uh, today, we are going to be opening up the November box, which is themed all around combat, and I'm actually pretty excited about that because... November was a pretty solid month, both for gaming and just like general entertainment. Like we had all kinds of games coming out. We had Halo, we had Fallout, we had Call of Duty, we had Battlefront, we had Tomb Raider. We had all kinds of like super, super awesome games. We also had some good movies, Hunger Games, uh, you know, uh, Mockingjay Part 3. That was amazing. I actually love that series. And uh, so I'm expecting some, some pretty cool stuff to be in here. I know there is some Fallout stuff, which I'm actually really excited about. I've been doing a Fallout 4 Let's Play with my second channel. I'm having a lot of fun with that. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you guys check it out. But yeah, it should be a, a pretty fun box. And then next month's box should be pretty cool as well. I was actually just looking on the Loot Crate website. Next month is all about Galaxy. And uh, two of the main things that they're kind of like teasing in it are Halo 5 Guardians, which is obviously awesome, as well as Star Wars The Force Awakens. So just a, a little, you know, fact here. I've been pretty vocal about this on Twitter lately. I hadn't seen a Star Wars movie up until about two and a half weeks ago, and I've watched all six of them in the past couple of weeks, and I absolutely love them. Like, I cannot wait to go see that movie. Actually, I have tickets at like 10 p.m. the like night before or whatever to go see it, and then I'm gonna go see it the next morning again at like 9 a.m. So I'm gonna see it like back to back. I'm like, see the movie, go home and sleep, wake up and see the movie again. And I can't wait, because I think it's gonna be awesome. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this thing. As we do every month, Cooper, are you ready? You look awfully smiley today. You're a good boy. All right, let's uh, let's do it, boys. Here we go. He's actually so he was super kind enough to take time out of his day of chewing down the Christmas tree to be able to join us here. So I think we should all you know praise Cooper for that because he he literally he has been eating the bottom of my Christmas tree. Like that's not a joke. So uh, anyway, let's uh, let's go and open this thing up. Here we go. Wow. All right. There's something pretty intense right here on the top. I don't even know what this is from. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder Shades. Okay. All right. I can rock these. Look at this, Coop. What do you think about this? Check these things out, guys. I got like some, some sunglasses and then I got like a big old helmet with some horns and some sideburns and stuff. What up? Take a selfie. Let's go, boys. Cooper, what do you think about these? Do you want to try these on? Here. You got to hold your, hold your head steady. Boom. Look at that. Deal with it. <laughs> As he throws them on the ground. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't really follow Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too much. I did when I was a kid, but I haven't since then. I've kind of, uh, I don't know, cartoons aren't really my thing anymore. And that makes it kind of sad to say because, I'm, I don't know, that means I'm growing up, I guess. I don't know. I, just, I don't really have that much time to watch TV in general. So, uh, yeah, those are those are pretty cool. Some Shredder Shades of the, uh, the TMNT. All right, next up, we have another kind of cartoon looking thing. Blizzard Cute But Deadly Series 1 figures. Is this like a TV show or is this a video game? There's Kerrigan, Arthas, Sylvanas, Zerno, Murloc, Diablo, all kinds of stuff. I don't even know. I don't even know what this is from. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what's in here. Let me get this thing open. Ah. All right, there's some sort of like little figurine in here. It looks like, oh is this, which one is this? This is Murloc, but I think it's a special edition of Murloc. He looks a little bit different, but yeah, this is kind of cool, I guess. Like I said, I don't really know what it is, or, or the show, or the video game, or whatever this is from, but it's kind of cool. To me, it kind of looks like like a, a poly world almost, or a poly wrath, or something like that. Like, not really, but it's like kind of in that same like family, you know what I mean? Like, I can compare this to Pokemon. What do you think, Coop? You probably don't want to eat it. No, that would, like it might be fun going in, but it would really hurt going out, huh? You don't want to eat that thing, no. <laughs> right, anyway, there you guys have it. So uh, I didn't really know what that was. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm seeing some good stuff in here. I see two things. So two things I actually just mentioned at the start of this video. I see. So we have a Fallout thing, and we have a Hunger Games thing. Which one should we start with? I'm thinking... Let's start with the Hunger Games because the Fallout is, is much bigger and much, much cooler. So it looks like we have a Hunger Games Mocking J pin. Hoo, 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 hoo. Or however it goes. Dude, this is pretty cool. All right. So, like the pin that she wears on her outfits and stuff, it's not the one that has the circle around it, but it's just a, a straight up Mocking J. This thing is kind of cool. 
it's legitimate too. Like it's this is a heavy duty pin. Like this is this isn't plastic. This is like a nice, nice kind of like metal pin. This is cool, dude. All right, Coop. I'm gonna put this on. You okay with that? We're gonna. I, I don't even know how you. Shoot. I'm gonna try to get this. I'm gonna have to take my shirt off for you guys. Boom, guys. Would you look at that? I feel like I could just like pull out a crossbow and just. Shh. Boom, from across the map, some sparrow action from Black Ops 3. But no, seriously, Jennifer Lawrence, if you happen to watch this video, please go on a date with me. I'll, uh, uh, my, my business email is going to be down in the description of this video. Like, please just hit me up on there and uh, we can take care of some business. Anyway, so let's go ahead and, uh, and move on to the next thing. It looks like we have a Fallout and uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this. So uh, one of the, the biggest things you can get in Fallout are the magazines and the bobbleheads and it looks like we just got a real life fallout bobblehead this is gonna be amazing dude I can't wait to check this thing out all right we gotta get this thing open I don't have a knife on me so we're just we're gonna have to shoot we're just gonna rip it out of the box holy cow dude this looks sick this is like a legitimate like this is cool dude so Vault Boy with his Vault 111 jumpsuit on, says Vault Tech down on the bottom, dude, this is sick. And uh, of course, it bobbles, baby. Look at that, Coop, what do you think about that? He's got blonde hair just like you. Yeah, all right, so that's pretty cool. And I actually, I already have my own bobblehead control freak for my million subscriber giveaway when I first hit a million subs. They made some bobbleheads of me, so now me and Vault Boy are gonna be chilling on my desk at all times, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyway, that's kind of like the last main big thing in here. Let's see what else we have. Looks like we have the gift of geek from Loot Crate. Looks like this is, um, we try to make our crates a special gift. You can enjoy use these times to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. So this is just kind of like a, um, a little you know gift tag type thing since it is uh, December it's almost Christmas time baby looks like we have some cute but deadly magnets here which again I don't really know what that is but uh, if that's your thing that's pretty cool we also have our you know kind of like typical loot crate guide that tells you about what's in each thing and uh, you know what you can expect on you know future boxes and the mega boxes and all kinds of stuff like that which is pretty cool see if there's any kind of like pamphlets or something that pop out now sometimes they have like special posters and stuff in those uh, we have our, our blue crate pin the uh, the November 2015 combat pin this looks awesome dude that's pretty sweet so every single box comes with the pin that you're able to collect I still have all my other ones from the previous boxes and then we also have a loot crate exclusive Street Fighter hyper looting this is kind of like a, a comic book I believe which is kind of cool Oh cool, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a Street Fighter comic, but it's exclusive to Loot Crate, so it's the only place you can get it, which is kind of cool. It probably would have been worth something, but I, I kind of just ripped it right out of the package. Oh, wow, this, uh, in your dreams, Romeo kissed this, and she's doing like a giant butt slam to this guy's face. Look at that, Coop, what do you think about that? Look at that big old booty. That's like a Kim K booty, but anyway, yeah, so that's, that's kind of cool there. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the box. Uh, you can always kind of fold the boxes in on top of themselves to make a cool scene. So I'm going to try that out real quick. I'm not even sure what this is from, but it's some sort of like war-torn road, kind of like apocalyptic type scene. Almost like something you would see at a follow-up, but, uh, but not quite. It's still pretty cool though. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That, my friends, it was the November Loot Crate box. Some pretty cool stuff in there. Some stuff I didn't really know what it was, but uh, I think definitely the thing I'm most excited about is this right here as well as my Hunger Games pin. I think both of those things are, uh, are pretty awesome and I can't wait to, uh, to have both on my desk. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out Loot Crate, you can. I've got my link down in the description. If you go to lootcrate.com slash tmart and then use coupon code tmart when you check out. And uh, then also, like I said, next month is going to be Galaxy. It's going to be a lot of fun and uh, it should be pretty good. So if you guys are interested in Star Wars or Halo or things like that, then make sure you guys sign up. I think you guys have like nine days or something like that left. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys later. We'll see you guys next month with the next Loot Crate and uh, peace out.